most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life what's up my love bugs and love muffins it's mama love and i'm back with the 2020 video for you all yes that's right a video 2020 a cooking video this time i'm going to be preparing shrimp fried rice first time making it don't get me wrong uh i've had it before uh i tried my own but i didn't make it i went to this restaurant called mongolian grill and what you do is you go grab everything that you want them to grill on the big grill for you and your ingredients and your sauces or whatever you want in it and they'll do it for you so i did that and it came out great so i said well i'm going to go home and put the same ingredients together myself y'all and this is what i did so simple ingredients as far as green onions i'm using two eggs of rice of course soy sauce i'm using farm garlic buttered shrimp that butter i'm taking out though i'm not going to use that i don't want that in there but i liked it the way these shrimps looked and i bought them um bean sprouts i tried to find the fresh bag however i was uh in a rush to make this video um because i'm trying to post um every day um this month and um so i just i'm just gonna go ahead and try the can now, i'm not sure if the can of the bean sprouts tastes better than the bag i'm not sure who uh ever made shrimp fried rice before or cooked with any experience using bean sprouts let me know in the comments below is there a difference is there a big difference in the taste with the bean sprouts in the can or in a regular fresh bag however look so i went out and bought this as well y'all i got me a wok and this is what i'm gonna be using today non-stick wok i'm excited of course this is for my rice and uh I'm gonna get started y'all y'all gonna see me do this today okay and hopefully it'll taste better or next to hong kong in on uh dicks in south in southgate michigan best shrimp fried rice ever well i taste it whatever so y'all stay tuned as i put it together now the first thing i'm doing you all of course is you're preparing your rice first um my rice is dry I always cook it dry. I'm gonna show you where I do it. I think I showed you before in the video, but all you who didn't see, um, you fill your pot just enough over the rice, just a little over, that's it. And you're gonna put it on the stove, and that's it. You're gonna turn it on and let it boil. Y'all, I ain't even gonna explain. Y'all just gonna see what that do, okay? All right. I'm not gonna use any type of oil. I'm gonna try and see what it says. It says non-stick, so that's what I'm gonna leave it as a non-stick. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna start to chop my onions and prepare everything else. So I'm sitting here chopping up my onions, you all. I'm sitting here and talk to y'all about a couple of things I got going on this year. However, um, the website is up. I didn't really make a big uh, promotion or nothing about it. I mentioned it in a couple of videos. Whoever uh, watches this video, I do have uh, a website it's called mamalovescooking.com, um, M-A-M-A, -A, loves, L-O-V-E-S, cooking.com, and that's where you could go purchase your apron from. Now, in the uh, summer, and spring and summer, I will be having, like, different colors, uh, pink, orange, lime green, um, you know, stuff like that, um, pastel colors, light pink, uh, sky blue, you know, I don't want you to. It just don't stop at white, black, red, and blue. I'm just letting y'all know. So, um, yeah, that's what, with that website and everything. And it's not as going as well as I want it to, but it's going. And I'm thankful, you know. Everything takes time to take off. So, yeah. So, anyways, as I'm sitting here, I am going to just blah, blah, as I always do, like I said. Okay, so I'm chopping my green onions, you all. And I don't really like to... Um, waste a lot of time on these um, because I don't uh, let me get this off of here I don't like crying <laughs> yeah 
so um i don't know you all but i do my onions like i always peel off a layer and i get that little silky fine stuff that kind of lays on the top of them um that's just the way i do mine everybody's different see it see that yeah yeah i know I don't cut too much onion off. And so, uh, I just want to know how everybody's New Year's was. What did y'all do? Comment below. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, things y'all was doing in y'all New Year. Um, where did y'all go? Did y'all church it? How did y'all like the vlog? Let me know about that. Well, I did in the comments, I guess. Um, do y'all want me to do more church vlogs? Um, you know, let me know. Um, I told y'all, y'all, my, my church is, my church is Liddy. I ain't got no uh, dead church. And uh, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, you know? And uh, when you can go in the house of the Lord and praise God without somebody sitting you down because the Holy Ghost then fell on you, then you in a church of truth, I'm sorry. Any other church sits you down, say we don't do that up in here, you get up immediately. You <laughs> tell them you ain't got to put me out. I'm leaving because uh, of course we do things in decency and in order. You know, of course the spirit is subject to the prophet, meaning that you know the Holy Ghost he he rests rules and abide as uh, long as you allow him to. But he ain't gonna force himself on no man because he's a gentleman like that. That's what I mean by that. You know? And he's not gonna have God's not gonna have his service out of order. You know. And so, I'm just doing these just as simple as this, you all. Just as simple as this. But I just wanted to tell you, I really enjoy myself. And I'm thankful for this new year. I'm going to try it, like I said, and post every day. Um, I have some subscribers that says I'm not being consistent enough. Okay. Okay, so, anyway, I'm about to attempt to open up these, these bean sprouts. Because I really want to see how they look on the inside, y'all. Bean sprouts don't look bad. They're wet. Just trying to see what's the, ooh, the difference in them. Um, look at that, y'all. <sighs> don't look any different. It's just that they're wet. I don't. I'm not sure why. Um, they. I guess fruit. I mean, uh. Vegetables in a can or I don't know they say fresh fruit is better. I'm sorry. I just couldn't find it, but it smells good They smell good. So we're gonna see and uh, and so what I'm gonna do y'all is um, I'm going to I've got two eggs right here because I'm gonna put those on later But for right now, I'm going to take bean sprouts and my green onions and my shrimp and we're gonna go over here to this wok. I took the butter off of the, uh, it's right there. I took the butter off of the shrimp. Um, Cause like I said, I don't want garlic tasting, you know, I want it to, you know, taste like shrimp fried rice. And uh, I don't remember, recall tasting um, garlic butter inside my shrimp fried rice, y'all. Cause I love shrimp fried rice. Since I got my, my skillet on, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my shrimp. Non-stick pan, I'm gonna see if it's telling the truth. Green onions. Bean sprouts. Now we're gonna put them all in there, it's only one can. There you go, there you go. And they just stood over that grill and they turned it and twisted and flipped it and dipped it. That's all they did, y'all. Over the high, high grill. And you're right, speaking of high grill, it was high grill. It was a pie, so let me turn it back up high. I'm so excited, you all, to see how this gonna turn out because, like I said, my first time making it. It smells great so far, of course, because of the shrimp. I love green onions. I love bean sprouts. They didn't keep just standing there turning it either. 
They let it sit. They let it brown, brown a little bit. And this is what the rice is doing so far. It's boiling. When that becomes, uh, when, when it's finished, that boil, you're gonna see potholes in that. You're gonna see potholes in that rice. You take it off the stove, set it on the counter, and put a top on it. The steam it or cook or rest it away. That's what that's doing. And while that's browning over there, then two eggs will go in. And then we'll add the soy sauce a little bit and uh, to flavor it up some. And then we're gonna add the rice. I always used to think that it was a, a brown rice. That's why the rice was brown. So when I tried this before, I had tried it my way, y'all. I had went and bought some um, brown looking rice. And it just wasn't plain rice since I wanted the uh, flavor in it. It was kind of like a, a Spanish rice or something, like a dirty rice or something. And uh, I had made it up and I bought the, excuse me, I bought the shrimp and uh, I kind of like did it that way and mixed it together, but it still didn't taste like shrimp fried rice. I think this is the first time that I'm actually close to making shrimp fried rice. I didn't look up any tutorials uh, how to make the shrimp fried rice. I'm just going by what my eye see all the time and what I taste. So I'm always seeing eggs. I'm always seeing uh, green onions in it. I'm always seeing bean sprouts and rice and soy sauce and shrimp. So we're just going to go by that. And hopefully uh, that'll do it. Like I said, so far I ain't tasted it yet, but it smell like it usually, you know, like it tastes. So we gonna see. Okay, so so far this is what it's doing. Looks like it's it's cooking quite well. I just want to get some of the uh, liquid out of there because it's not that fried that I want it. You know, I don't want it soggy type of, even though it's a, a damp food, but it's looking the way I want it to look. But when I go to crack that egg in there, I'm gonna need that egg to fry. You know what I mean? So I'm probably gonna move all this to the side. And I'm gonna crack my egg in. I'm gonna get this about a few more minutes. I ain't worried about it now because it says non-stick, okay? I'll take you at your word when you say something. That's me. That's how he did it. I'm gonna go ahead and stir it. But what he did was he let that mug get sunny side up almost and I ain't I ain't kinda like that. I understand maybe why he did it, but your egg gonna be done regardless. Don't worry about getting salmonella poison. The egg gonna be done. It'll take long for an egg to cook. Okay. See that? There I go. I'm going one with it all now. Okay. Come on, I'm paying. You said you nine stick, remember? Come on, you said you nine stick now. Okay. Now I'm going in. Usually you don't measure nothing, but I'm gonna measure this. And I lied. I really ain't measuring it. I'm just pouring it in the bowl. Now I do have some measuring cups, but this is the soy sauce. Soy sauce, y'all. There it is. That's the soy sauce. A little flavor. Because I want to show you all how this rice is setting over to the side after I put a top on it, like I told y'all now. See that? The rice is done. It's soft. That's how it looks. Go ahead. I'll say about two scoops. I'm gonna soy some of my rice. Cause that rice sucks up the soy, y'all. 
And rice sucks up the soy sauce. I'm not gonna lie. I would like for my rice to look thicker. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know, I'm not sure. The rice. I got two more people eating. Grill not here. Um, I look safe to say, add some more. Two more. Don't worry about it getting dry because your soy sauce is what's brown in it and gives it the flavor. Okay, you see how that's still brown? Even though I didn't add any more soy sauce in there. I'm going to add some though. I just wanted to see how it would do. It's my first time experimenting, y'all, with this. Somebody texting me. Y'all gotta wait a little bit more. Smells good. Remember, the rice was already done. Don't try this. <laughs> Don't try this. Do you hear me? Read my lips. <laughs> Keeping it real, y'all. I'm keeping it so real. It's nasty. <laughs> it had to be the soy sauce, y'all. Now it's not the ingredients that I put together. The shrimp turned out good. I mean, some bean sprouts, some green onions, and uh, it had to be the soy sauce. And you heard it from the other uh, one in the background. Y'all heard her say, what you say, Tina? <laughs> She's upset. <laughs> Woo! I said this was my first attempt. I ain't never made shrimp fried rice before. I had made shortcuts and I had did it other ways. But what made it nasty? What'd you taste that you didn't like? I think it was just the soy sauce. And what'd you say, Tina? Oh no. <laughs> it was the soy sauce to be as well. Um, the sauce, when I put the sauce in, I don't know if I put too much. I don't know what the heck happened. All I know is, don't try it! Whatever you do, do not tempt this at home unless you know what y'all are doing. Now, what y'all can do for me is, you all that have cooked shrimp fried rice and know about it, I'm not gonna give up just because this one is a failure. Um, Put, the, uh, put in the comments below y'all, uh, you know, ingredients and what y'all did. Because me, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I'm going to stick with Hong Kong. Hong Kong game, baby, because I'm not going nowhere else. It's terrible. Oh, my God. It tasted so horrible. And I'm not going to feel bad because I'm saying a waste of money on that shrimp. Because that's not it, I wanted to attempt. At least I know, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if it's different flavors like in the uh, soy sauce itself. You know, different type of soy sauces that bring out the flavor. I know it ain't got nothing to do, to, uh, do with the rice. <clears throat> I know it's not the green onions. We know it's not the eggs. Well, I mean, we know it's not the ingredients, y'all. Um, because uh, that was done right. But I think and believe that it's that soy sauce and it tastes horrible. And I, I recommend you not to, to use, uh, don't follow me. Don't, okay. Um, but I'm gonna tell y'all the sauce that I used that did not taste, it didn't taste good. Or maybe y'all, like I said, y'all may have poured too much in it. I'm just being honest, y'all. I'm being honest with y'all now. It's Kit Coleman, I don't know. I use this. Yeah.
Y'all seen the ingredients I put in it. Y'all seen me put this together now. Now when I do it my way and try to make it shrimp fried rice, my own way, like I said, with that dirty rice and stuff and then putting that a little of their ingredients, that turns out right. That's nasty, y'all. I'm keeping it real. No. Do not try this. Do not try this recipe and be like, mm-mm. See, she, this tastes terrible. Cause I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm experienced the taste first before I send it out there. Do not try this unless y'all know y'all know some type of other way. And if y'all know and say, well, mama love, you did it this way. You shouldn't have done that. Or you shouldn't have added that sauce. Or maybe that much sauce. Or maybe you should have added this in with the sauce. Or some type of other ingredient. Let me know. Let me know. I ain't got no problem with, uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, somebody letting me know uh, where I went wrong at. You know what I'm saying? Constructive criticism. That's what I'm saying. All right. So... I hope y'all enjoyed this video. At least me tempting to try to make it. Yeah. I'm kind of shocked because I thought it was going to be good myself. But it wasn't. I ain't going to sit here and fake the funk. And, mm, it was so good, y'all. It was, oh, no, it wasn't. Um, just because you all, some a lot of you all follow my recipes. And I do not want you to attempt to try this. And you eat it and you be like, what was she tasting on? Because this is nasty. Okay. Okay. So, with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. And I uh, have more videos to come. Like I said, I'm trying to be more consistent this year of 2020. Um, I'm trying to keep fast to my word. I'm, I'm trying not to be a procrastinator. I said, I'm trying not to be. I did not say I was going to be. See, that's what we make. That's what we mess up at. Make mistakes. And when we say, we, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I'm going to try not to be slowful and to be a procrastinator and to not uh upload when i should and uh like i said give me ideas you all you do run out of content you do run out of ideas you know um people don't want to see the same thing over and over of course there won't be any drama because i don't have that so um let me know what you all want me to do should i add my kids in it um you know i want me and tina and Terrell to have a um, topic discussion. Terrell's not up for it. Of course, Tina is. Um, and just a lot of other different things and vlogs that I'll be doing for you all this year. This upcoming year. We're looking for positiveness. We're looking for happiness. We're looking for peace. Um, we're looking for um, just more positivity, you all. And um, it's a lot of good content that we could put out here. To show y'all all another way. That everything ain't got to be a drama channel. Everything don't have to be, um, you know, something happened with this one. And then this one was cheating on that one. Or somebody got beat up or something. You know, we need some positiveness out here. Because we already got enough craziness in this world as it is. So, I'm one of those ones that would love to bring the positiveness to the uh, social website. So, if you allow me to do that, uh, we can move on. And um, like I'm saying, with that being said, with this video, I'm ending it. And I want y'all to have a blessful, thankful, happy, uh, protected 2020, okay? As we start and begin, we just began this journey. Take your time. If you fall off, get back up and keep it moving again, okay? All right? Peace out in Jesus' name. Be blessed.